activities are uh, using a, um, a postcard to educate homeowners about uh, impacts that an invasive species could have. And so we created these really cool, what are called lenticular, and if you look at them in one direction or another, they'll kind of um, shift um, the, the image from a good looking, well, these are actually for fruit flies. So we have different fruit fly ones. We hope you never have to collect all eight of them. We have like a red fly, a Mexican fruit fly, a peach fruit fly, a melon fruit fly, a guava fruit fly, Caribbean fruit fly, a New World guava fruit fly, and an Oriental fruit fly. But I just show you these as an the, as the example of what there's some technology here that's out there that can really get homeowners' attention, right? Before you just look at it and throw it in the garbage can, and hopefully the goal is that they'll take a look at the kind of in, innovative uh, outreach mechanism and then kind of read the back on steps that they can take. So I just wanted to point this out and just pass it down to kind of get an idea of what some of the outreach that we can we can accomplish. But again, as someone alluded to earlier, it, it all takes money, right? And so that's one you know, potentially one of the things for our, our uh, parking lot that would be to, to uh, highlight outreach uh, activities as well. Because we want to make sure we get more eyes out there, right, and helping us look for these tests out there. And, and so one way we're going to do that is through your citizen scientists or through all your observations. And so we want to all go through uh, Dr. Pottle's uh, website. So if you Google CISR South American Palm Weevil, it'll go to Mars website. So we're going to leave that up there so that you can uh, capture that. And this will also will push this information out as well without your email addresses. If you signed up through our uh, RSVP uh, website, we'll push this information out as well. What you'll also find on this website is going to be all the presentations from today, all the video that's, that's being played, and then there was a couple handouts, uh, uh, Don Codell's and uh, Mark Hoddle's uh, pr uh, papers that we had printed out just enough copies, but it, it looks like there was a, a need for additional copies so that you can find all that material on Mark's uh, website. Another thing that we've done, for example, on the, the uh, um, red palm weevil, and, and Dr. Kavshima was a key player in this, was kind of a traveling road show. So we went to different counties to do something similar that we're doing here today. And, and was really successful, I believe, in getting more folks out there. So like uh, John would kind of go over the biology, what to look for, kind of things that we went through today. We also touch on the regulatory aspect of it, uh, and then also on kind of the outreach component. And, and I thought those were really successful at first on getting more people aware of the pests, and so that may be another option for this group to consider as one of your priorities is to, to create a kind of traveling road show, if you will, so that we can go through different counties and, and really try to set up the, um, additional meetings for folks similar to this so that we can get more eyes out there looking for us. So we'll, we'll put that on the parking lot as well. And so, um, what we're going to do, kind of going through outreach, so there's a lot of different options that we can do as well, right? More uh, press conferences, those type of activities, but they all take a, a effort and time and, and resources to do those type of outreach activities. We are trying to, as a group, right, we want to all come together as some type of consensus from today's meeting. We don't want to just come to today's meeting, learn about it, and kind of forget about it, right? We want to really take this ball and, and run with it, and we need you all to help us do that. Uh, the Department of Food and Agriculture is one player, but we've got a lot of really powerful individuals here in this room that we really want to uh, empower to help us with this, uh, this pest. And so we're going to be using Mark's website as kind of the repository for information so that we have one source of information to push out on. So if you are finding uh, any sightings or if you know folks, please ask them to Google Mark's website so that they can download that information. As Dr. Leather said earlier too, we're also doing an official survey. Potentially, if we get Farm Bill funding, we would uh, then do a, a, a survey as well so that we kind of figure out where that leading edge is. And really wanting to see where you're, as a group, where you all would like to go. So I'm going to kind of step into the next steps portion of the, the program as well. And so what we're going to do is, and trade sales with the county is going to help me um, kind of go through some of the items that we have here, but you're going to get three dots, right? And so you might have done this in the past, and so we'd like you to, once you get your three dots, please go over and uh, highlight which of the, the three items you see here are kind of your highest priorities. And then from that, we're gonna have a consensus from this group and, and really take those as our marching orders moving forward. And through the steering committee, 
which again is, is Todd Hager, San Diego Agricultural Commissioner, Dr. Hobble with UC Riverside, Albert Peck with the uh, Date Committee, California Date Commission, and Wayne Young on our uh, nursery side are really the steering committee members that are going to be driving this going forward, but we really want to make sure that we're hearing from everyone in this room so that we create that consensus and a shared understanding of the best that we have here today. Um, so, having said that, I'm going to have Tracy kind of cover the items for us, and then we'll give you all three dots. After you get your three dots, please place your dots, and then lunch is going to be provided out here. Again, a special thanks to Mark and his wife for doing all the logistics, and the Western IPM Center for helping fund that. We got a, a grant from them to help pull this off today. So, more is Tracy.